So have you heard about the metaverse? You know, that reality where you can have like, I don't know, a virtual office or like make a Zoom call with these really cringy avatars. Yeah, that's, that, that's the metaverse as of right now. And one company, one big company is pursuing this dream of making the metaverse a reality. And that company is known as Meta. Previously known as Facebook, by the way. Meta's main source of income is Facebook, but Facebook's growth has flatlined and has saturated the market, which basically means that Facebook's not gaining many users. This obviously means bad news for Meta because that means not as much as revenue. So Meta's pursuing the Metaverse and they're pouring billions of dollars into it. However, what if Meta can make the Metaverse, that sounds weird, a reality? But before we go on commenting about the metaverse and how it's a kind of weird reality, let us look at the Meta Quest Pro as a piece of tech. So the Meta Quest Pro released this year, which basically is a pro version of the Meta Quest 2 or the Meta Quest 1, and it has the custom-made Snapdragon XR2 Plus chip. And the controllers in the Meta Quest Pro, the Touch Pro, have three cameras and quite a bit sensors for obviously tracking where your body is. But Meta's dream is to make the headset into a base, maybe like a pair of glasses, like Google glasses, and basically make that an immersive VR experience instead of carrying around a bulky VR headset. But the MetaQuest Pro is $1,500, which is USD by the way, which is not cheap. However, if they can make it cheap while making it a very good piece of tech, then Meta would have succeeded in its dreams to be the company that started the Metaverse. At this point, I don't know if the Metaverse is going to be the future. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Neither would I not mind it if, if it wasn't happening. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Surya, and I'll see you next week.